Hello everybody, especially you boys and girls. Welcome to Reverend Gary's Mousy Tales Part 6. This is Part 6, can you believe it? Uh, last week I uh, brought before you these two little mice and asked you to come up with some suge suggestions, some, some names. Um, I hope People aren't losing interest because I didn't get that very many names this time. Maybe the uh, the church connotations was a little bit too much for people to think about. But I do have a couple of names that we're going to go for. First of all, we're going to go for Bronny for this little one here. This is this is Bronny, and this is honour of uh, in honour of Bronny Broadhurst, uh, Deacon Bronny, uh, Bronny who was. Um, uh, played at Killing Hall, the organ for me, when I first arrived in uh, the Harrogate area 20 years ago, almost. And uh, she was a reader then, a uh, lovely person. She moved away, she's the far side of York, and she was ordained a deacon by the Archbishop uh, not that long ago, actually, uh, just over a year or so ago. And we've had a nomination to call this Bronny. So this is Deacon Bronny. So Bronwyn, I hope you appreciate that. In the same vein... I also showed you this one last week, which is a little pulpit mouse. Now, there's a certain young lady called Zoe Hay, who suggested that this little mouse might be named after her father. Her father is the Reverend Gordon Hay, who's the minister at Gracious Street. So I think that is a lovely little idea. So this is Gordon. Gordon in his pulpit. I hope he appreciates it. Um, it's very good looking Mouse Gordon, so you know it's obviously after you. Now um, we're going to move away from the churchy theme a little bit. If you remember a few weeks ago I showed, I told you that I have a whole band of mice, a whole group of mice, and I showed you the drummer mouse and eventually I think we came up with the name of Ringo. Well, you know, um, you can't have Ringo without having the other Beatles. So um, I've decided to show you these little Beatles. Uh, well, they're actually mice, but they're going to be Beatles for uh, for this reason. For some of the generation, nobody knows what a Beatle is. Beatles were uh, a very famous band, one of the very first and most uh, amazing super bands. So you have here, we have John, Paul and George. John, Paul and and George, and they go to make up with the little drummer, uh, Ringo, the rest of the Beatles. But, John, Paul, George and Ringo, but we also have this little mouse, who is, I always think, the leader of the band, because he's got a little flute, and he's asking for a little bit of money, and uh, he's obviously a little busker mouse, maybe they're all little busker mice. So we can't have any more Beatles, John, George... Paul, Ringo, it's about all of them. But your task today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is to come up with a name for this little mouse. I think he's got a little gold coin in his little paw there, which I think is lovely. So if you can come up with a name for this mouse, then we will um, decide who's going to be the leader of the gang. When we talk about leaders of the gang, from my perspective, I always think about Jesus as being the leader of the church gang. He is the one who came to earth to show us the way that God knows us and loves us and wants us to follow in a goodness, a path of righteousness. So boys and girls, mums and dads, grandmas and grandpas, may our leader, Jesus Christ, be with you this season of Easter and always, please, please stay well, stay calm, stay your distance away from everybody and look after yourselves. Much love to all of you. And if you could ping back to me in any way you can a suggestion for this little leader mouse, little busker mouse, then I would appreciate it. You take care. God bless. Bye bye. <laughs>